Hello everyone, welcome to QDesign, I'm Janine and in this tutorial I show you the green screen effect. This effect is pretty amazing if you want to use it for your Instagram channel to promote your other channels or something interesting or if you just want to fool around with this. Uh, with creating different backgrounds you can switch between I show you how to create uh, lines and switch between them and also of course uh, how to add the gallery texture as a green screen background so so you can add like another background to this so let's start okay let's start with a new project go to blank project double click Hello, and we start with a simple segmentation, person segmentation. For that you need two layer, one for the background, later the gallery texture and one for the, the segmentation. And then uh, later I show you how to create the um, outlines uh, between the segmentation and uh, the gallery texture. So create at first two rectangles duplicate this one command D or control D this one is our gallery. gallery and this is the segmentation uh, make sure that this is the order of the two different layers uh, select both of them and full width full height and now we need a material for the gallery, gallery and the other one for our segmentation. And of course now for the segmentation we need uh, the camera texture and the segmentation from our camera right here. So uh, segmentation, person segmentation, and you see right here, you can also use the hair segmentation. If you want to know how to create a simple hair segmentation or how to use the free Spark AR template, watch this tutorial right here. Um, and let's go over to person segmentation. Ignore this one. Uh, make sure that the gallery, gallery is flat, both of them, and go to the segmentation right here, add the camera texture, hello again, and now we start with the segmentation, so go to your alpha, select this one and add the person segmentation texture zero to it, da da. We add to our gallery uh, texture, so our background, uh, the um, gallery texture, gallery texture, so go out to add asset, gallery texture and now it says that it's not possible to use that uh, texture because uh, Facebook is still um, isn't disabled so go to your platform properties and make sure that Facebook is disabled like here go to your project and there you can also go the this way around and now again gallery texture perfect go to your gallery material for the background and select the gallery texture and now we have this gallery texture right here but we want this green screen effect so go to your gallery texture and there you can ho holding texture add um, a color to it or also you can add another texture to it if you want to but um, color and uh, this green screen look voila perfect so uh, that's it for our gallery texture pretty simple Okay, let's start with the outline of our uh, segmentation So, and how to combine it with the picker. So uh, go to your segmentation or and duplicate this one. 
and call this one right here line color one and duplicate it twice so for one two three the order is not important right now but it's important that the line is between the segmentation and the gallery so between the background and the foreground is uh, the middle ground maybe like that so and now we um, I created uh, some um, just show it to you uh, some textures for my uh, UI picker these one so this is color one two and three and this is uh, no color so blank open this and we are in, now we need the colors so this one is um, then we need two different or two three different new materials so create a new material this one is color one this one create a new material color two and i just duplicate this one color three and go to three so uh, um, select all of them make sure this shader type is flat and now we just go to our color so the first one is a uh, yellow like this one for example the second one is a uh, purple or violet and the last one is white perfect and now we need a second segmentation because this segmentation is a little bit different and we can't use the person segmentation texture zero we need a second one so go back to your camera right here inspector and then go to person and you find the person segmentation down below then maybe i can select all of them go to all materials alpha and then add the second person segmentation to it and the second person segmentation um, is right here so select the second person segmentation and we can resize this and make it maybe a little bit uh, don't the uh, edges are very soft uh, on the person segmentation for our front uh, layer or foreground and here you can choose how the size of the mask and that's looking pretty nice uh, the this one you see just this one the other two are behind that okay now we go to our patch editor and add a ui picker to it this one and now we need to link these to our ui picker so this is zero texture okay one two and three and uh, this you see this error right here because make sure if you select all of them go to no compression that is very important if you want to work with the ui picker make sure that the icons for the ui picker are um, the no compression is enabled now we just create for these three uh, select all of them and go to visibility and three one in this order 
it's uh, the same order like our picker right here. So this one, this one, and this one. And now we need a uh, equal exactly, equal exactly. Oh, sorry. Add to select them. This is our number one. Two one. Copy this one. And again. For this one is two. And three. And uh, we don't see the UI picker now. I forgot to go to this one right here. And now you see the UI picker and you can change the uh, different lines. And uh, why I don't connect this icon is for no lines. So if you really just want uh, this one without a line and I think the lines are pretty nice if you have uh, your corporate um, colors or something like that. Uh, I could pretty could be very interesting if you use uh, the gallery texture to um, make sure that you don't mesh too much with the background. Okay, so um, this is uh, the filter. I make a nice uh, icon, I think. And you can add the lines right here. And now I go to media. I created just a video. And that's why um, I think the lines are could be pretty nice. So you really see the difference between uh, the uh, background and the foreground. So this is a pretty um, simple solution, a way to create a, a very interesting clip for your uh, branding or your Instagram channel. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. Please leave a comment if you have any questions uh, about this filter or if you have any nice ideas for new tutorials. And of course, uh, you can also send me a message via Instagram, via, uh, via DM at Kino Design. And if you like this tutorial, share it with your friends who wants to know this. So, See us next time. Bye bye.